July 18, 2021 it is. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to be talking to you about uh, total evil. I'm going to be talking about you, Lucifer, a Satan, and I'm going to be talking to you about saints, angels, of course. Not about in saints, but about the saints, about the angels, and I am going to be talking to you about the Satan, about the Lucifer. Talking about the saints, the in saints, it's going to be about people like this here. Um, dear people, uh, this is Alexander Vucic, uh, present president of the Serbia, involved since 95 in this case. Uh, since he was a student of this individual here, uh, who was acquitted somehow after trial in Hague for the war crimes, uh, along people like convicted criminals, Slobodan Milosevic, Sheshel, uh, I mean Sheshel, Karadzic, Mladic, people who committed a serious, serious war crimes and eventually were trialed on international court for the war crimes. These are angels. These angels that will come to the city of the Nova Mesas in Slovenia where I was hijacked from the United States of America in Miami in 1995 would ensure they would go thoroughly through all the files to everything they possibly could get a hold of it. And sometimes, I estimate probably sometimes like in 90, 97, I think it was. It was not in 95, maybe not even in 96, but in 97, they presented the case against me as my being an ultimate Satan a Lucifer, a devil. By the way, this guy, this saint here, who was involved against active war uh, in Croatia, against Croatia, in an active war in Bosnia, against Bosnian people. I don't even have to say about myself. I'm Slovenian, and about many other Slovenian fellow men that were poisoned, killed. Uh, this, in the, this, this individual here, never ever was tried for the war crimes in the Balkans. So that this is the biggest killer in the Balkans. This is the, the man that made possible and Karadzic and Mladic, Milosevic, this was the main engine, this was the guy, this was the engine, the power engine, this of the failed Soviet system, Apparatchik, uh, a KGB Apparatchik, Ex KGB individual. This is not an, even a KGB. KGB have fallen apart. Now you have a bunch of people from the top looking for a prosperity in a failed political system through the dirtiest ways possible to the fast profit uh, profits. They establish a Russian mafia. And parallel to that, they run also state business. It's a Vladimir Putin right there. That's the biggest saint ever. Angel that have presented me as a Satan, as a Lucifer to the world. Crazy, strange enough, he found an ally. And my ex-schoolmate, for that matter. My ex-schoolmate, his name is... Dobrovitz Rock. Um, well, attend high school with me. And this is a guy that was considered himself as an intellectual. Um, I would say he was, he had a fairly developed IQ and was coming from the family with a background uh, that was like quite the opposite of uh, what the communism would be. He would be like going like uh, categorized like in a white guard, but the truth is that 
oftentimes this uh, political system, Yugoslav, therefore this Chetnik, greater Chetnik state, Yugoslavia, uh, would use people from the families like this to mix into, uh, how do you call people that did not, uh, whatever, they didn't see themselves in a political system, some might have even sided with the uh, Nazis or something like that. Uh, sure enough, this individual did manage to produce a tape, I understand, a tape, an audio recorded tape, uh, in the fourth grade, when we already finished with school, uh, we would have, well, they would invite me on, a, I think it was his birthday or something like that it was, I don't know what it was, was it his uh, birthday, I'm not really sure, I know it was finished, it was over with school, the fourth grade we finished, we graduated a high school for mechanical engineering technicians, we were out of the school already and we were, we would go to this vineyard, uh, this was not in a, uh, I don't know what that was, really, in a little bit you understand what happened. And uh, it was all about the drink, how much you can drink alcohol, how much can you consume alcohol. I was abstinent, must say I was interested in the sports. I was doing boxing at the time, uh, and was doing really well, and it's got to do with it too. And this individual, along with a few other friends, uh, he was into getting me drunk. Um, the possibility also has it that they might have added something extra to the alcohol, I don't know. I know I did drink a lot. Uh, I know that I got really drunk. And I know that all of a sudden I would have a Serb. Yeah, I would have a Serb from this location here. Oh, this is the location right here. I'm going to demonstrate to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, just as I did flip the internet on, I immediately I was disconnected. So we're going to leave this thing here so I can see the red button right below, which is indicated that indicating that this thing is actually recording. So the Serb, this was here somewhere in this place here. What are we going to do? We're going to do it like this. Uh, it's quite, uh, it's quite epic this thing, it's quite uh, incredible. Right in front of this building here, the Serb, about maybe six months earlier, um, as we would go for the Gaude Amos Igitur, Nos Habebit Percent in Flore, that's a uh, Gaude Amos, that's a song that's used uh, upon graduation. You would go to the teachers under their um, windows and you would sing them a song. But the funny thing is I was with a group uh, in which also again this guy was, again was this guy, this Dobravitz Rock. And uh, the group would disappear. And all of a sudden, as I would turn around, I would have exactly this Serb with probably 10 other guys. Uh, probably they were together no less than 10. It was a gang. And I was by myself. I had actually another guy with me. His name is Sterk. Marian. That also was a schoolmate. But he escaped. He saw this thing, he disappeared. 
and I was pretty much left on my own, by myself, surrounded with no less than 10 guys. Right here, that you see here. And as I would talk to one guy, this Serb would use like this. I was again paused. Uh, they again paused me. I have no idea what's going on. This is, I just saw it. Don't know even how far I came. Uh, the boxer, this is. Um, Uh, this thing here, you see, you would attach this to your uh, to your fist. I never ever did. Uh, but with this thing here, you can actually even kill person. And this Serb, this gang, uh, this boss and this gang did have this thing. You know, if I would hit him once, he probably would just go sleep or something like that. But the thing is, I was I was talking to one person. And I did not realize that from the side uh, this guy would appear and also I was <laughs> maybe twice in life I was drunk this was the first time I was drunk the second and the last time I'm about to explain to you what happened uh, the guy would come and hit me like this like, like, like uh, something like this from the side but he would hit me straight on my ear and I would, as a result, become like 50% deaf. Okay. Uh, the location I did not demonstrate because this, this is this is really kind of a disturbing. Uh, you see, Shagov Ulitsa Three. This is a location. It's not nice to record when somebody disconnects and pauses your recording and stuff like that. But I guess this is a really important part for the angels. Because I have to look and see as disturbing as possible. Because this shit is disturbing. So I have to look the last credible as possible. I have to look, in other words, stupid. So the saints can look sane. So the saints can look credible. Leave the stupid people alone. This is where it happened. I would talk to the guy. As I would talk to the guy, I, I had some alcohol in my ass too. Too much. Too much because I was a sportsman. I was a really sportsman, a really good sportsman. And if you're a sportsman, if you're abstinent like I was, the alcohol grabs you really, really quickly. If you're not used to drink alcohol, you get drink, you get drunk by just perhaps sipping like a little amount of, like a glass of beer would already make you kind of drunk. Uh, let's say a, a, a low alcoholic beverage would a glass of it would already make you drunk uh, and I was under the alcohol influence 10 guys appears all of a sudden uh, I'm talking to one and another guy this syrup comes from the side and hits me with this thing with this metal boxer knuckle duster or whatever you want to call this knuckle he hits me straight in the air uh, now they jump on me but they don't succeed I hit few really hard they understand this is not gonna go through I was drunk but when I hit I hit so hard that they didn't have a guts anymore to go against me ten of them and I start to move myself back but the blood is rushing down my ear. You know, this is the ear that is 50% without hearing. It's lost. The physician, local physician, Kotar, where I would go uh, the next day to the medical center here in Nova Mesta, to the hospital. Um, the only thing he did was he makes stitches to the ear. Um, uh, this is the ear here this side here and for the right side he stitched the ear and the ear looked like new uh, he did not figure out anything was wrong with my ear well eventually it's 50% loss was gone the hearing loss was gone 
uh, luckily for me there was a Bosnian guy, literally Bosnian guy, that would come by, you know, yeah, left on my own. And this Bosnian guy, what he would do, he also was training something, I don't know, karate or something like that. Uh, he saved my life, literally, by uh, what the two of us did, and I really want to thank him. He would just go, like you see me, but he would go from the opposite side, so he would press against my back. So on one side I was, on the other side he was. And we had these 10 guys around us. And he said, he said, uh, come on, he said, uh, let's go and let's beat the fuck out of them. And uh, the two of us went ahead and we started to beat them. They run for life, they disappeared. They dispersed, they were gone. But thanks to my schoolmate, Rok Dobravets, who would also go on a training with me and with another, with Bostian Laurich was his name, boxing training. This guy was a physically uh, not suitable guy that you would go sparring, sparring with and you would not, I, I personally, I did not enjoy hitting people. I would always leave one, two, three shots that I would be hit so that I would start slowly to engage because I, I couldn't, I didn't have that in me that I would go and hit people really. I was enjoying doing the stuff, um, you know, unless it would be something else, unless somebody would get like really smart or something, then it would be different story. Or what I would do is they would actually, my trainer would have me box with much larger people than myself. Uh, because uh, I was really good okay let's just put it that way so but this guy it was not really not even a sportsman far away from boxer but we wanted to encourage him to start with the sports and so on he was uh, he resented yeah I observed him resent my friend my other friend his friend good friend uh, he just wanted to go inside of the ring and hit me and hit him. But God forbid that you would return him something, then uh, he would go and uh, it would be everything. He would go and complain and cry and how what we did and uh, how did uh, like uh, how absurd that we do we hit him and stuff. But he really enjo enjoyed hitting people. He enjoyed. He had this. Uh, this this passion that uh, what he wanted to do is basically uh, you act uh, only defensively and that he would go and hit you and hit you and hit you and maybe hurt you and then he would say fuck you bye bye something in that sense um, he did not succeed not even in that uh, and nobody in the club would really hit him or something like that but we did return him a little bit back you now because what I mean this is adult man you're talking about and uh, he needs to understand what boxing is all about he have to put some effort in it I mean you can be a coward that expect that you're just gonna go inside and you're just gonna hit somebody and that somebody's gonna just take it I mean, it's bizarre kind of uh, no way he would leave boxing it was no way for him um, I don't know what got him into it, uh, into a situation in which I got drunk to the point I would, whether was it per alcohol or was it something else that set me inside, I don't know, uh, lose conscience after the serve would come eventually push me from his balcony or literally from his balcony that that's a like, like a wine yard house house in a wine yard it's a balcony and the fucking guy and you're talking about the guy who hit me break me uh, how this guy came to the private party to some kind of a birthday party how the fuck this guy a few months later appeared 
at the private party and eventually would push me from the balcony. He was not drunk. He came over there to beat me up and push me from the balcony down on the head. So I end up in a hospital. Thanks God for the other friend, for the other friend. Thanks God for him because he was the one actually that transferred me to the hospital. I was gonna fucking die basically right there. Uh, and I understand I started to talk like a Satan, like a devil, like a Lucifer. And the friend of mine, a big fucking friend of mine, schoolmate, who was always present everywhere, pulled out magically an audio recorder and started to record that shit. And he gave this to the Vladimir Putin, to the saint, to the Russian saint, a real recording of Lucifer of the Satan imitation. Now Americans said that this was because of the drugs they have done to me. I think that I actually saw a fucking Lucifer that day. Because the next day <laughs> I uh, woke up inside of the hospital. There's a beautiful nurse over there in the hospital here in Novo Mesto. Really sexy nurses around me. Uh, and voila, I spent a few days. Luckily that the school was finished, it was, was over, everything was over. Because I don't know what the fuck would happen otherwise. Now, the first time, my ear was busted. My eardrum was busted. 50% hearing loss and cured. Now the second time, uh, I had a head, uh, a blood like this, cloth hanging like down my forehead. I couldn't fucking recognize myself inside of the hospital. My head looked like so fucking deformed. Man, it didn't look like this shit like this you would do. Uh, I was like sure that I have never seen anything like this in my lifetime, man. Uh, <laughs> I was actually sure that uh, my head never is gonna look the same. Uh, eventually, uh, blood somehow was gone, and I did not get blind, and fuck, I was again okay for that part. But the KGB in 97, in the city of the Nova Mesto, proclaimed me as a Lucifer, as a Satan, and I know it was in 97, maybe 96, but I'm sure it was in 97, Vladimir Putin had everything he needed to prosecute the Satan, the Lucifer. Now, who exactly knew that? Everybody knew it. The KGB, as I stated, definitely. This is a RT Russia Today. Definitely did. Merkel's potential successor, Laschet, apologizes after laughing during the German president's speech about the deadly floods. This was uh, maybe one of the biggest allies of mine in Germany. Uh, the lady here that you're gonna see laugh behind. Uh, this is like the deadliest serious lady you have ever seen in your lifetime. Now this is President Steinmeier. They're all involved in MK Ultra. Now look at how they act in, be in behind. They are laughing, like diabolic way, and that's supposed to be used to remind me to clear this issue away as fast as possible. Look. The floods uh, is impossible to describe the loss of the people. Uh, I am not going to go into it. This is the article here. You can see the article. It's not exactly what the RT does, uh, you know, that this is a Lachet, that this is, that what he's doing, you know, what I look at him, what he's doing this is, is this, is that it does have a very good purpose. I want to thank him. I want to thank Steinmeier. I want to thank the entire German government. I did not know anything about that this is how far the whole thing went but it did so thank you my friends 
Uh, the loss is actually impossible to explain. This is impossible to even explain. I don't know what I would say to all that. I'm not going to go because they're going to disconnect me again. They're going to pause me again, video recording. Um, the next one who reminded me, the first one who reminded me, however, of this stuff, it dates back to the MK Ultra. Uh, crew from the city of the Nova Mesto. Uh, and that will be precisely what I published on December the 23rd in 2020 in a translated audio recording. It's a local MK Ultra uh, crew, a staff members who presented themselves, basically, who met me, and they presented themselves to me at a well-known MK Ultra location here in the city of Nova Mesto. Uh, you're going to hear the guy here in the recording. He talks about the Satanism and about uh, a coming believers of the Satanism. That this is going to be like the new, the most popular religion and so on. And he told me on that MK Ultra, I'm going to be talking to you about this stuff because you have to explain what the fuck happened after your fourth grade. Uh, of the completion of the fourth grade for the mechanical engineering technician. What I want to say to you folks, um, I don't think, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure whether there were drugs in there, whether they did put the drugs inside of the alcohol too, I don't know. But what I stated to you, I am absolutely positive about what happened, yeah? I think that my mind reacted to my schoolmate, Rog Dobravitz, I think that I saw a Satan. I think that I saw the Lucifer. It wasn't even the Serb who did that shit to me. I think that I saw more Lucifer, more Satan in him. Because this guy is like an ethnic Slovenian guy. So this is the story about the famous Lucifer, about the Satan. It's also about something that Obama Mike Tyson took to United States of America because Obama and Mike Tyson and Dwayne Johnson were the first connection Vladimir Putin had made on the other side of the ocean. He connected with them uh, in a such a way that they would harm me beyond believable. Uh, that's the stuff I'm gonna reserve for the next video and that one actually concerns Slovenian guy a native a neighbor from a church of St. Mary right here in the Tushka Gar that's basically in the year 1996 or 97 I don't know when 14 years old he was when they would basically turn him into a human plant because his mom, because his mother, not only because he was a very uh, devoted Slovenian individual who supported me, 14 year, 14 year old kid, but his mother was, his crime was that his mother was a white Afrikaner lady who got married to Slovenian guy. This is what his crime was. The first individual who was here in Slovenia in 1995 was a trainer of the Mike Tyson, uh, the dude with that hair. Um, this, is, this is the coming video that I have, the video coming. Yeah, there you go. They already paused me again. Uh, this is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. Uh, it's disturbing stuff, but this is, this is the way it goes, yeah? So you're talking about uh, again, I was paused, you're talking about here, about this individual here. <laughs> uh, this was the guy that came here in 1995, yeah? and also came in 96 and 97 and he was the one 
who talked to the Putin. He was the one who talked to the uh, Udba people. You know, Udba was like a secret Yugoslav police people here. And yeah, he did put eye on this white Africana, uh, half white Africana, uh, who got destroyed at his age, even 14, right here in Slovenia. It's basically death would come from overseas and death would come from Russia, literally. Okay, so this individual here, yeah, you see, this is the guy. Uh, in continuation, I am also going to explain everything about the Mike Tyson. It's going to be the video, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to devote to this half white Afrikaner, Slovenian, who had absolutely nothing to do with what goes on or whatever went on in South Africa. This was a 14 year old kid. Uh, who just did not, he couldn't stand that I was Slovenian and they treated me like shit, like an animal over there in front of the partisan memorial, at, in front of the church of St. Mary in Tushkagara. He couldn't stand this stuff. It was other people, Slovenian people, that could not agree with this kind of saints technology that Moscow implemented inside of the independent Slovenia for the sake of the greater Chetnik Serbian state, which they tried to bring back at all the costs. You see, now what I'm gonna do, uh, the first thing, the number one thing I am gonna do, yeah, that's basically after disconnecting that stuff, I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna get translated the audio recording from the group I already have presented to you, as I stated, on December the 20th of 2020. In audio recording, I present local MKUltra staff members who accompany me from Slovenian bird city of Novomesta, also abroad, or to Novomesta from abroad. Yeah? So, brought from Miami, from the USA, drugged up, thrown on drugs, and brought to Slovenia like an animal for the saints basically to meet me for the real serial killers to meet me and accused of being satan accused of being a lucifer by the real satans by the real satans okay let's go and i am gonna go and we're gonna play this stuff talks about a Pope Francis from Argentina. Uh, Pope Francis from Argentina, who was involved in this stuff, he didn't know what the hell went on. He might have seen this stuff. The Vatican was very concerned. But what I can tell you about the Pope Francis, somehow, uh, Pope Francis loved me. I think that Pope Francis loves me. I think that Pope Francis is... Uh, the Pope Francis is like a cowboy. Uh, the Pope Francis at the time when this stuff happened was a Polish Pope. Maybe the Polish Pope uh, got, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that he got a hold of those audio recordings. Yeah, it does make sense now to me more, all this stuff. That they give it, <laughs> Kaczynski and all that. Uh, I was in a bad situation, ladies and gentlemen, and the people like this go around you, uh, the story, uh, the truth can become, a twisted truth can become a weapon of deadliest choice you possibly can imagine. You can't fucking escape stuff like that. When the people like this, organization like a KGB, uh, put the curse on you like this, uh, it's it's like almost impossible to escape. It's like almost impossible to escape, yeah? Almost. Almost. But I think because it's almost now, it's going to be impossible for them to escape. 
I think they got a curse of God Almighty on their ass. I think actually the God Almighty that saved me on God knows how many occasions. You could say the cat has a hundred lives, but it doesn't. But it did have. I escaped on numerous occasions what couldn't almost be escaped. It, it would almost have to be a miracle, but I did. This guy is a philosopher. This is a historian, this guy. Uh, I already spoke. You have to see that video, right? So that I'm not going to go and uh, uh, repeat the whole thing again. So he, he, he gives me a, a lesson, a historical lesson about Voltaire. He gives a, a historical lesson about the history of the sat Satanism. And he tells that Satanism is coming back. Um, he is just trying to remind me, just as the Germans did, just as the German government did everything possible, as I demonstrated earlier, that I have to tell what exactly happened. I have to explain what exactly happened. And so I don't know whether the truth ever came out. I think it did. I think eventually that the schoolmate Rock the Bravitz, or there might be other people also, it was other people who participated on that uh, on that party. I believe they did told exactly about what happened because uh, the German state, it appears to me, stood behind me. They somehow stood behind me. They 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 would otherwise not stand behind me. It was people that marginalized people inside of the Hollywood. It was a marginalized people all over the US that would stand behind me when tornado, when the hurricane would go around them. The death would be around them no matter what. Everywhere would be. Pope Francis stood behind me. People stood behind me somehow. Uh, there is got to be a reason why these people that what I think is they know the truth about what exactly happened well nobody could possibly describe exactly what happened as it did happen as I did today today you know the whole truth I am not afraid not ashamed to be called a Lucifer a Satan whatever by the people like Vladimir Putin like Alexander Vucic like Vojislav Sheshel like Mladic like Karadzic like Slobodan Milosevic that were proclaimed as a mass murderers, assassins on the Balkans, people that assassinated, killed on a mass scale, civilians, unarmed people. It is just enough. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to get this audio translated. Uh, and for the rest, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play you the whole audio recording. That's all I wanted to say for this video. And in the next video, that should be an interesting video. He talks about the Hollywood people, how they have a cross down. And understand that Hillary Clinton got the cross upside down. <laughs> it's possible, I don't know. I, 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I might have had more friends on a, on a strange places than what I thought previously. Uh, it finally came to me a few things still that I had to complete. Um, 
this MK Ultra, this is this is sometimes you know you, you, to get to the conclusions about this was like a mass labyrinth, a labyrinth, labyrinth, uh, labyrinth in Slovenian language, labyrinth that you would walk through for no less than 26 years. That's a huge, huge labyrinth, and you have no idea what kind of stuff was done, created. For me to just wander, 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 and never get really anywhere. Yeah, this is what the truth looks like. Truth sometimes is stranger than fiction. Fiction, in this case, is far stranger than fiction. Yeah. Uh, there is nothing special to. Um, Pay respect to pay uh, to cherish a Satan, <laughs> Satanism. Uh, that's nothing special. The guy says uh, this is intellectual guy. He doesn't mean that way. He's just as I try to explain to you, uh, trying to remind me of what I need to do. Another guy joins him, another NK Ultra member joins him. He says there's nothing wrong to uh, if they if this elite is praising Satan. Uh, he's saying they are also praising other gods, other cultures and so on. No, okay, the other guy now fixes is not exactly the right thing, but Uh, yeah, the truth is, yeah, the people, the people do uh, worship all kinds of gods, and in this gods is in the world is 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 like a little difference in some cases in in a negative sense, right? Uh, no, I do not cherish no Satan. Uh, I'm a God's believer. I believe in God. I praise God. Uh, I don't go in church. Uh, here and there I go to the church, but uh, I talk to God almost all the time. My entire time I probably spend talking to God. I spend a lot of time talking to God. And uh, I don't think I would get anywhere without His help. Uh, this is He sent me a wonderful people, wonderful things in life. Kind of impossible stuff made possible, actually. So, just for me to clarify that. Okay, uh, now he talks about the Turkey and this and that. What I want to do is, I am going to go ahead and again, I am going to thank will be just to yeah in meanwhile I was again stopped I was again blocked from uh, a recording this is the way this is really that really does make you look disturbed um, it's a different kind of game to do intellectual stuff and somebody clicking the pause button that's not very pleasant but that's something I was told the case is gonna be and so I just have to take that as not so abnormal uh, okay now I see that uh, the recording earlier I had it's gone okay here it is I want to thank the German government, uh, it's not like this, this is not the way it is, this is a very responsible person, maybe nobody's more responsible than the lady that you see cracking behind here. This is probably the lady that never ever laughs. 
this is the lady that probably never ever lost a uh, loss but it, the German government told me they're gonna do something really really stupid really stupid and they demonstrated to me on that MK Ultra what exactly they're gonna do to remind me to finish my stuff this is a big thing they just would not haben die große Verluste erlitten haben dass ihnen Hilfe zuteil werden soll und diese Hilfe die zugesagt ist soll auch gelten für die Gemeinden die in den nächsten Tagen und Wochen nicht nur aufzuräumen haben sondern die vieles wiederherzustellen haben Straßen die kaputt sind Rücken uh, definitely uh, a disaster for the Germany the city also for the Poland also for other countries Czech Republic uh, the city that got affected the most is the city that was for me number one city uh, this is where the city the two rivers joined together um, yeah go over this article I, I am afraid to even connect to the internet uh, I did manage to complete this video recording that's nice and I don't want to jeopardize the whole thing what I want to do is I want to play you this whole audio recording if you are a government employee or official or you can afford yourself a translation of it go ahead um, but that's it that's all there is to it the main stuff I did spoke to you about uh, and yeah that's what exactly was used to remind me to complete this stuff and that's exactly what I stated to you I have also demonstrated facts about my air when I was in Poland when I did go to the physicians when they tested the ear I was told you are already fit for the disability because of this ear here that's how in bad situation this ear is uh, plain facts thanks for watching this video I'm gonna play your audio that's all there is to it and then the next video it should be interesting coming about what I explained to you more
Скоро, так у вас, наверное, шанс такой дом курба. Они, это из меньшим, 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 это Они такая друг, где хочет дать его два, что ли, два. Не, по дихаре так, как сырая, как бы у них измешан, так бы измешан. Наши бьют, да? Ну, а там еще А я? А я папа турист не Они не сего убил, не знаю, что ему, что и на смертный посты подписывают. А не, по старому. Та от нового места и на смертный посты подписывают, потому что целый фон наредил I just want to thank to my MK Ultra crew here from Novo Mesto City too. Um, definitely again to German government for this. I deem otherwise it would be inappropriate, but this is a really big thing. Uh, thing. And definitely hope all the best for the people who found themselves in a catastrophic floods all over the Europe. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching this video. Today is July the 18th, 2021.